YouTube for me, in my fondest memories, was a place where I watched people all across the world share their lives, struggles, and laughs, regardless of race, color, and age. I found people just like me. Weirdos, outsiders, or just people who like to make videos. My videos on this uh, online site thing called YouTube. Well, when I first came onto YouTube many years ago now, um, of course, like everybody else, I didn't know what to do. It's, it's kind of weird because most of them are girls. And in real life, you know, girls don't actually try to friend me like this. Um, Hello. My name is the Uncle Chen. And this is the Uncle... Chen. Plus. A B plus. Kevin! Kevin! You... You make B plus? You think you cool make B plus? Not now, you, Mom. You dis about, you know, for the way... Hold on. Get money, get paid. Okay, ah, right, right, we cool, we cool. Get money, get money, get money, get money. Get money, get paid. But once greed got into the picture, money made YouTube a different place. It became about how do I get the most money by making videos, whether that was legitimately through all the boring stuff and turning your YouTube into an organic sales machine on autopilot, to money, drama, clout chasing for your AdSense Since YouTube he didn't play. understand that or didn't care to is because maybe he doesn't know the difference between talking to someone Tyler Perry put me in this movie! Ah! This wasn't the venue YouTuber Yusuf Arakat, known as Fusi, had in mind. He organized and promoted through social media what he called the Hate Dies Love Arrives concert at the Greek Theater. About one of the most popular stars on YouTube, outrage is growing overnight, about a video Logan Paul posted overnight. It apparently shows someone who took their own life. And what was missing from YouTube ever since then? I think it's authenticity. The point where they don't feel like they can create content and the, the freaking point of YouTube is to create stuff that you like, right? Like, I know it's a business, but at the end of the day, like, why are you doing it, you know? Genuine ass people without a facade or character sharing their struggles and issues, showing that they're no different from you and I. Because I was um, elderly and uh, knowing that all the other people would be younger, I thought it probably a good idea that I talk about uh, life in my young days as compared to uh, life uh, today. How come I never really respond to my haters or how come I never really acknowledge the people that make negative video responses about me? And the reality is, is I barely have enough time for the people who love me. And I'll be damned if I waste three seconds on a person I know doesn't like me. One of the things I really admired about making YouTube videos was I got to connect with people all across the world and I got to show my version of myself to the world and people can actually like me for me. That was what was dope about YouTube, that I was able to make online friends and eventually real friends and that was something that hit home for me because I grew up feeling like I was an outsider feeling like I was so different, but then looking at the internet, you can find whoever it is that you're looking for. I know there's a way to do YouTube, learn SEO, become an entrepreneur and coach and sell stuff online, or just straight up just get some clout. But I miss the old YouTube, straight from the go YouTube, set on his goals YouTube. I kid, but you know what I mean. I've been gone for a minute working on myself and I don't care about this cloud and hell this video might even get copyrighted for all the clips I used but I made it because telling stories is what made me happy and doing what I like to do for once and what a better way to start documenting my journey again fresh out of a relationship and yes with a broken heart. Here I am again, back to square one, sharing my thoughts and things that I've picked up along the way. And if you don't know who I am yet, my name is Peter and I make videos on the internet. I was gonna make like a whole comeback video on 
why or who I am now and what's happening to me. But then I decided to go to LA to just get away from everything. And then your boy has the Rona and I'm trying to recover from the Rona. This is in freaking insane. I even know what's going on with me. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we're not on Long Beach, man. <laughs> 